Recently, a streamer by the name of Shubble came out with some very serious allegations against an unknown popular content creator that many are assuming is Wilbur Soot. Now, before I get into the details, I just want to say that as of yet, it has not been confirmed that it is Wilbur Soot. And at the moment, these are just allegations. Now, it's never really been publicly revealed that Shubble and Wilbur had dated. However, it was kind of assumed and the, you know, SMP fandom or whatever of these creators ship them all the time and, and there's compilations of of cute moments of them together now in this stream she basically says that this ex was a tall British man and was a very popular content creator and she claims that he would bite her now at first she was just kind of okay with this because she was even told by other people including his mother that this is just something that he had done since he was a kid when I hear about physical abuse I think of hitting I think of hitting and punching I thought that it was just like a constant accident that he kept hurting me um, but he's not hitting me and it didn't start as something that he did to hurt me uh, he had this habit of biting which is so weird to me now but he said that he had had this habit since he was a kid and even his mom said that that was true. And it got to the point where they even had like a safe word. Like if he was biting too hard, she'd be like, yo, can, like, can you stop? However, he would continue biting her and, and it seemed to be in a malicious way. Like he was getting some weird like pleasure out of, out of her being harmed basically. And I had no problem with just biting. That isn't even the most uncommon thing, but he did mention something early that I should have taken as a red flag. Um, and he wanted to make sure that I was okay with him biting me because he didn't want me to come back later and say that he abused me. And then he did for the first time by accident. He started biting me more and more over a period of time, sort of throughout the whole relationship and accidents of him biting too hard and really hurting me happened more and more frequently. And he decided that he didn't want to keep accidentally hurting me. Um, so we were gonna use a safe word. But at the time I thought he cared about not hurting me. But in reality, it's like, why are you biting so hard? And why do you have to bite so hard? And it shouldn't be that hard of a problem to stop. And a lot of clips have resurfaced where people are telling their experiences of Wilbur biting them. Wilbur Sir has bit me harder than that. Yeah. He just bites everyone. He'd bite you. Never bit me, my man. He would. To me? Yeah. He keeps biting me. Yeah. Actually, Will, uh, Will bites both me sometimes, what? and I get so many bruises all the time from him biting me. <laughs> You're on the boat. Thanks. So it kind of seems to be like a, a well-known secret that this is something that, that Wilbur likes to do for some reason. And an ex-member of Lovejoy, Wilbur Soot's band, has come out in support of Shelby, revealing that she has also been bitten by someone. And I would yell out the safe word because it hurts so bad and he'd clamp down even harder. And just for a second, just for good measure, before letting go. And sometimes I'd say the safe word and he'd grind his teeth down on my skin and sometimes he'd smile after she talks about how during the relationship that this guy wouldn't really pick up after himself was very dirty and he had even gotten an ant infestation he lived in filth like i have never seen uh he would spill things on the floor and never literally never clean them up uh, he got an ant infestation once um, and wasn't going to do anything about it because he said, he said, <laughs> Bugs are normal in British houses. Which, as it turns out, Wilbur Soot had also had an ant infestation at one point in time. And she pretty much says that, like, he didn't really care about her at all, didn't care about her needs, didn't really care about fixing the, the relationship, and had said pretty much that all he cared about was, like, more money and, and, and more fame and popularity. And he also, he was never going to prioritize me over anything that would give him more fame or money. In fact, he said that himself. He, uh, that was exactly why he was not going to compromise at all for a solution for us to be together because he said he wanted to see how much fame and money he could get. And there was one moment where he pinned her down to basically show that there was nothing that she could do against him. There was this one time that he 
pinned me down and asked me to try my absolute hardest to get him off of me. And I couldn't do it, obviously. And he said something to make the point that he was so much stronger than me that I wouldn't be able to fight him back. And several people on Twitter have brought up clips of Wilbur seemingly doing something similar with a lot of his friends, just kind of being forceful and, and, and not really being respectful of people's boundaries, just pushing too hard on people. Oh, oh, oh. Again, are you ready? Get, get in no way, tell me when you, you can't use two hands, what are you doing? Tell me when you're ready. Get your arm ready, don't just start, all right? Are you ready? Yeah. And go. Oh, fuck, you're so Pleasure, your honor. A ring, just a, just that one. Now, like I said, it is not confirmed that it is Wilbur Soot. So there have been a lot of people saying, well, you know, we don't really know if this is about Wilbur. Just support Shelby. It's not really about him. It's, it's about what she went through. And she would make this post kind of alluding to the fact that the reason she didn't name her abuser was probably because she can't for legal reasons. Coming on Twitter only to say this. If she wanted to name him, she would. Stop saying this. It's a lie. There are a lot of reasons a victim might not name their abuser don't tell them it's because they don't want to now by the fact that a lot of people are, are saying that this is wilbur that that she is talking about wilbur if it wasn't wilbur you would think that she would have said no i'm, I'm not talking about wilbur so talking about someone else and the way in which she has worded her tweet seems to confirm that it is wilbur th that she's talking about it it is wilbur who allegedly did these things to her and overall it's it's just not painting a good look now because of past situations with people people like quite and, and dream it's probably best not to make an immediate judgment however i i will say i don't think that she is lying here and i and i know people will always say oh well it's the cloud she's doing it for the cloud it's, it's cloud 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 but she seemed to be very genuine in her stream this seems to be her actually recounting things that actually did happen and as someone who just recently got out of an abusive relationship it very much mirrors a lot of the things that i myself went through and i i, I find it kind of hard to believe that someone could just make that up unless they had experienced that themselves so if it is wilbur that that she is talking about here and it is true that he did these things well it's absolutely disgusting and, and awful that yet another content creator abused their power and hurt their significant other. I don't know how many times that this has happened throughout the years, but I genuinely think that there is some sort of psychological issue with the type of person that seeks fame and seeks popularity and money and attention that kind of leads them to behave in this way. I've seen a lot of Wilbur's fans being really upset over this, being like, man, he, he's my comfort creator. I, I really care about him so much. He helped me when I was at my low I, I i wanted to die if it wasn't for him i understand that that you might be going through something difficult since you're learning that he may potentially be an awful person however i think it's important to realize that that is unhealthy the, the way that you feel towards a content creator like, like that like if it's to that point where you are upset that that you're hearing bad things about a content creator then that's something that you should work on you should probably get therapy for that i'm sure a lot of these people are very young something that i've had to learn growing up on the internet and, and covering all these stories uh, about a lot of YouTubers that I used to look up to is that you can't. You can't really look up to these people. You can't put them on that pedestal because at the end of the day, they're human. And I've been disappointed far too many times that I'm I, I'm done. I'm done idolizing these people. You may think that there's no wrong that they can do. And then it turns out that they were grooming kids or abusing their wife. And if you ever find yourself in a weird situation with a, with a popular content creator, be wary. Don't let yourself be taken advantage of don't let them lie to you or, or manipulate you if you know that they're doing something that is wrong that is harmful then you do whatever you can to protect yourself and other people and just know that if you have been abused or are currently being abused that you are not alone and that there are resources for you to get the help that you need